If you're trying to maintain your dog's oral health, you may be considering using Plaque Wipes. This is a brand that I have used with my dogs for many months now, and I love it. But we are going to break down some pros and cons of this. We're going to kind of give you a little real talk about how these are effective for you and maybe not effective for you. So I will link this down below. I do love these but it is not the only thing I do for my dog's oral health. So these are plaque wipes. These are meant to kind of clean the teeth and the gums and plaque and tartar and fresh and breath. I would say these are not the best at cleaning your dog's teeth. This is not going to replace a toothbrush. This is not going to get all the stuff off. These are a mint flavor and it freshens their breath. So while you are going to still need to use some type of toothbrush to clean off your dog's teeth better, this is going to help with their bad breath because what I found is a lot of the dog toothpaste and toothbrushes don't help with getting all of those germs out, right? We know that bad breath is caused by the germs in our mouths or in our dog's mouths, and we have to, you know, kind of remove those. And so the, the mint is definitely helpful for that. So this does not replace a toothbrush, but this aids in what you're doing for your oral care. So I would absolutely say you should be using these. These are incredibly helpful, but it is not going to be the only thing you should be doing to make sure that you aren't constantly going to the vet to get their teeth cleaned. So you want to make sure that you are maintaining their teeth. You're actively brushing them. You're doing that daily. You're going to want to do your research on what types of toothpaste and toothbrushes. And I actually found a type of toothbrush that I really like. I'm going to do another video on. So if you want to see that, go ahead and let me know. But I do like to make sure during our bedtime routines, we are every single night going to be using these plaque wipes because they are the mint flavor and it helps just with their breath and to kind of clean up what's going on. Now, you can definitely use this more than once a day. I actually might start doing it morning and night, but for right now, I'm definitely using it every single evening. And they do come in, um, they do come in just like a little roll. You can see how when you pull that up, it, it doesn't always go through the top so well, so I just kind of like to pull it out. It is a full-size sheet, so this is kind of just like those hand wipes that we get as well. You remember back in the day when we had those? So it's just like a little rectangle. I like to rip mine. I don't like to put the entire thing in my dog's mouth, especially since I have a one little dog and I've got two medium-sized dogs. I do not feel I have to use an entire wipe for even my English Springer Spaniels. So I take one wipe and I rip it into three sections. There's one direction that's very easy to rip and one direction that will not rip. So you have to pay attention to the way that you're going to be ripping them. And I rip it into three sections, one for Ember, one for Lucy, one for Gemma. And that works perfectly for us. We go through one a day or if I up it to um, morning as well. It'll be two of these wipes a day. They last a really long time. And they, because they are just so tightly wrapped together on the inside, they stay very liquidy. Uh, so when you get to the end of the roll, they're going to be pretty saturated. It kind of goes in. So the outside is going to be more dry than the inside, but all of them pretty, pretty much maintain the dampness of having, you know, the, the moisture on it. So then I can rip them in half and I just kind of brush over their teeth first. So for me, it depends on the type of dog you have, how your dog reacts to things being in their mouth, all of that. So for some of my dogs, I can just kind of run my finger over it and I just kind of wrap it around my finger and put my finger in their mouth and I'll just go through it. I'll go on one side, top and bottom in the front, the other side, then I'll open their mouths and I will go on the inside. I'll get the inside of their teeth. I'll get the roof of their mouth under their tongue and I make sure I really get their tongue very good because that's where a lot of those germs are contained. And so I'll just real quick do all of those things and it kind of cleans up their breath. It freshens what we've got going on in their mouths. Very, very helpful. And so you can do it pretty easily, pretty quickly. For some of my dogs, you just swipe and go. Some of my dogs don't like to play nice. They kind of like to, that's her. She kind of likes to dinosaur a little bit. So I just clamp down with one finger because she's a little dog. You might need more if you've got a bigger dog. I clamp down on either side of her nose and her upper under jaw and I'll just get those front bits and then I'll shove my finger in to get the inside bits. And that's not too much of a problem. But as long as I'm holding onto her snout, I can lift up her lip and just go over her teeth without having any issues. Um, if you have a dog that isn't familiarized with you, you know, touching their face in that way. You may want to hold down on it to make sure you don't get bit or nibbled on or whatever it happens to be. And it kind of controls the dinosaur roaring movements as well. Um, I've actually started kind of putting my fingers on both sides of their snoot for my big girls as well, just because it makes it go faster. I'm able to kind of just like swipe, swipe, swipe real fast. If you have specific places where like food gets caught a lot, 
You can focus a little bit more. You can use your nail inside of the wipe to kind of scrape it a little bit. But again, it does not replace a toothbrush. These do not work as well as toothbrushes. They do not remove all of the stuff. It'll take a lot of the surface stuff off. It will freshen their breath for sure. And it's definitely helpful for their oral care, <clears throat> but it is not something that is going to be the end all be all of taking care of your dog's mouth and avoiding having to constantly go for cleanings, which we know cleanings of the, the vet, not fun. They have to, you know, put them under so that they can work on their face without getting bit. And that's an expensive cost and it's not healthy for dogs, especially as they get older. They don't want to do that to older dogs. So it's just better if you can maintain their oral health as much as possible without the professionals doing it. So I love these wipes. These are incredibly helpful for freshening their breath, making them smell better, and you know, getting some of that debris out because my dogs love to grab handfuls of grass or dirt or clay or stuff outside. So sometimes I will come, I will come back and take those out of their mouth and it'll come back with lots of debris on it. Usually not, but sometimes it does. That's really good for getting like that superficial stuff off. It's not great for getting all the scraping of the food off. You're going to need something sturdier than this for that. And like I said, I actually have a new toothbrush that I've recently tried that I very much like. I will do a review video on that for you as well. And so this is going to be very helpful for breath. That is really, that is my goal with this one. That is the key takeaway from this. If you want your dogs to smell better, this is the one. This is it. And I very much like this brand. I have tried other things. This is the one that I like. I will link it for you. It's very, very good. Very easy to use. Very effective. It stays um, it stays damp on the inside. So you're not going to be dealing with like dry paper in their mouth. And it rips so that you don't have to use the entire sheet all at once. For, I don't, I don't even feel like for most dogs, you're not going to need the entire thing. You can rip it in half. You can rip it in thirds. You can rip it in whatever size you need and then put the rest right back in the container and it stays perfectly fine. It's not like it's going to dry out in the container. So this is a really good one. I take this on vacation with me. I take it when I'm traveling. This is a must take with me if I am leaving the house for more than a day. This is really, really important. I do this every single night and you can do it more than once a day as well and as part of their teeth care. Questions on this, go ahead and drop it down below. If there are other products I need to be reviewing for you or other issues you're having with your dog that you want products or you want training or you want help for, go ahead and drop those for me down below. If I cannot answer it, I do know all the experts that can answer those questions for you and we will get them to get those answers for you if I don't have them personally to make sure you are living your best dog parent life with your pups. Daily videos are dropping to help you navigate the world of being a dog parent. So we'll see you then.